Hey everybody, it is planting time, but only for some things. These are copra onions from Dixondale Farms, and we're using the Elliott Coleman method of planting in fours, and we thought of a new way of poking holes also known as a dibbler, a planting jig, I've heard it called a stamp. So let me show you what our draft is, our prototype is, and then when it's finished I will show you the final product. And we also have two other kinds of jigs being made for us by my neighbor. We commissioned him. And I will show you those when they're ready. They're going to be great for carrots and lettuce and spinach and other greens in the high tunnel and out in the field. So let me show you the dibbler. Okay, here is our prototype. It is dowels and a one inch piece of trim. Uh, I have no idea how we're going to put this together. It's working all right with the rubber bands on it but it's not ideal because these dowels do slip up or down. We want the holes to be even and about an inch deep. Don't want to plant the onions any deeper than an inch or they won't bulb. So it does work better with um, more damp soil and we're gonna get rain this weekend so That worked pretty good. That hole wasn't quite what I'd like, but so that it, so there's two on each side of the string pretty much, which makes our row pretty straight, fairly straight. And as they grow, let me get back. Where's number four? Okay, as these grow, they will bulb and they'll push out against each other. It will not restrict their growth, but it will keep us from having to weed between them. So instead of between every onion, hopefully we'll only have to weed between every four onions. And I'm gonna trim the roots a little bit so they fit better in the holes. Oops, wrong way, sorry, making you sick. And then they'll go in there. And I forgot my tripod, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Trim the roots back. There's my crumbs. Put these in and then just put dirt around. Ah. And they'll stand up. Okay, getting ready to put in more onions. So far, the copras, or copra, C-O-P-R-A from Dixondale Farms. We have put in 16 bundles, which is approximately 960 onions. And we put them in in fours. Okay, getting ready to set onion transplants. I want to show you what makes it a little easier to go in the ground. <clears throat> now this works for us, I'm not saying it works for you. But we cut off some of the root because we now have a dibbler. Good, it's going to show up and it needs to be actually a little longer. We're going to get have this one made a little longer. This is set at one inch, it should be at one and a half, so that when you pull it out, and the dirt falls back in the hole, you've got a little more. We've got one inch in, but it's not perfect. But it does make things go a little bit faster. That one's a little. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, I see one. 
They go in the four holes. Maybe sometimes they need a little help. But if this fiddler was a little longer, then pressing down, pushing the dirt in and pulling it out, even if a little dirt fell back in, it would still be one inch. And that's where we want the onions to be one inch below the surface, so they're bulb bright. And planting them four like this gives them plenty of room to grow out. They'll push against each other and grow out. And then we'll put fertilizer down the middle in a trench and cover it up. And hopefully it won't be a drought year and we will have excellent onions. So if that's 960 and 16 bundles, approximately 960, then we have big daddies. We have six bundles of these and six bundles of red zeppelin, I believe. Yet to put in. Thanks for watching. This might be a better view. See how those two holes have already caved in. So you kind of get the idea. Big Daddy onions are in. All that's left are the red ones. Hopefully that'll be tomorrow. Big Daddy. <laughs> We'll see if they're big daddies. They look pretty sad right now, but the shock will wear off and they'll take off. It's Friday, May 2nd, and we have had rain for six days. A little bit of sun today, not much. You can see it's still not real super friendly out. And it is so wet. We won't be able to plant for a couple weeks. I mean, unless we get some really nice, dry, windy days, it's going to be a while before we can get anything else in the ground. <clears throat> but the onions look great. You know, they can, they can handle the rain. They love it. So they're looking good. And I'm getting rain on the camera, so see you later. Okay, we're out at the onion patch again, and I wanted to show you evidence of the enemy. The enemy is deer. You know the slogan, eat more chicken? Well, around here we say eat more deer. So, they stepped right through several spots, and I want to show you something interesting. Okay. It's so wet, we, we can't plant yet. But where they did step, and some onions came out, 
Oops. I want to show you what. Remember we cut the roots down to get them to fit in the hole. But look. Isn't that crazy? They love this rain. I'm going to rebury this guy. But isn't that cool? I, I can't tell you how much rain we got. The Sunday, two Sundays ago, we got five and a half inches, and then it dried up pretty nice, enough we could plant a little, and then we had six days of rain. Not solid, but um, the first three were pretty solid. So, but there's, they're growing. Thanks for watching.